So, I've decided to uh, go after the contract for the Shrieker. A contract that I picked up at Crow's Perch. So, that's also the place that we're, yeah. we need to be to talk to the man that uh, put the contract up. So, uh, hello, chat. That's chat with chat. Greetings. Yeah? Heard you have a problem. The monster you call a Shrieker. Oi. Prowls about it does. Snatches cows and goats mostly, but it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm-hmm. Took a hatchet. Laid an ambush for the Shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Guts stretched o'er the crown of a tree like gossamer. Gross. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put them in a grave. That's the point where we say too much information, man. But let's haggle with the reward. So it's been a while since we've done a contract. So uh, on each contract you can haggle a bit to uh, enlarge the reward you will get. I know times are tough, but I'll need you to cough up a bit more coin. So we start at 235. I'm going to... Started at 255. That would be nice. You seek a lot. A few crowns too dear. Okay. Let's put it at 250 then. You seek a lot. A few crowns too dear. So 245. You seek a lot. A few cr Again, I still don't get the point of these fucking haggle thingies. I suppose I've got I can add that. five coins extra out of that. In your neck for us. Okay, let's do this. High time a professional took a look at this shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But you might find the lad art to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At my homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. Poor kid. So, okay, he's at the back of the house. So the boy saw his father get ripped apart, apparently, by what these people call a shrieker. So let's talk to the boy. Hello, Let Simcoe. Talk. Let me be. Calm down, I just wanna... Go, I said. So that's uh, a point where we could use Axie, I think. I want to avenge your father, but to do that I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster. But huge. With a lizard's tail. I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Ran to see what you were on about. There were Dad. In the bushes. A hole through his belly. And he was moaning. Screaming. I wanted to help. But how could I? How? Poor kid. Shush now, calm. 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 Take care, kid. So that's one of the ways we can use Axie to do good, because this kid has been traumatized. Or could have been traumatized for his entire life, but Axie... I like to believe that Axie kind of fixed that, so... Um... Okay, so let's investigate the side of the monster attack. It's outside the walls, of course, so I'm gonna do a little detour. So back on the subject of the haggling, I suppose it makes sense that uh, you don't get much since these people are poor. And in that way it's kind of logical that we wouldn't get a shit ton of coins for defeating a simple beast. Although I hope it's a simple beast. So the boy described the beast as a combination of a, a giant rooster with a lizard's tail. So uh, people familiar with the uh, mythology of uh, different kinds caked in blood. might already have an idea a fight. of what the creature might be. Regular here. Monster must have started staggering. He was wounded, most likely. 
Well done, doggy. So it went here. Blood. Monster blood. So now we have a blood trail instead of footsteps. Heading into the water. Oh, and coming out at the other side. Going up. Tracks lead to the cave. The cockatrice. A cockatrice. So Geralt already mentions the type of uh, animal it will be. So let's check out the bestiary first. So under Draconids we find a new entry for the cockatrice. Cockatrices are vulnerable to the grapeshot bomb, draconid oil, and the art sign. Had myself eight hyphers, five of them milchers. Then this cockatrice sprung up nearby, and now all I got left dried patties in an empty field. From a peasant from Pindle. Foolish superstition claim cockatrices, like basilisks, can kill with their gaze alone. That is utter nonsense, however, a cockatrice's gaze being no more dangerous than that of an angry goose. One should instead watch out for its sharp beak and long tail, which it can whip to murderous effect. So we uh, immediately got a lot of information about what we will need. And since my grape shell bombs are out, I'm going to quickly meditate for a second. I also went closer to, uh, to dawn to be able to see a bit more. I'm going to equip the grape shell bombs. So it seems to be up there. About to leave. Bomb should smoke it out though. I can't see a single thing, but I'm gonna try and throw a bomb up there. There we go. It's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Got to nab it before it gets away. So we found the cockatrice, but it was hiding up above, and we can see it flying already. There it is. And it's big. Get away this time. So a quick save, and then we're gonna give chase to kill the beast. So as with the griffin, uh, well, <laughs> 10 episodes ago. Okay, I missed that bomb completely. So as you can see, this thing has a lot of health points. Luckily my blade has a burning damage. And I keep forgetting a few of my own rules. I'm gonna switch to Quan and the crossbow to uh, Oh, get it out of the sky. I might not have mentioned this, but uh, Quen also allows you... Okay. ...to negate any bleeding, burning, etc. effects. So luckily, this thing can't heal, so as long as I keep going at it... We should be fine. So the best here should really be updated with... ...fucking Igni, because that is really efficient. Okay, okay, okay. I might actually not make this. There we go. Okay. So, attempt number two. We know Igni works a hell of a lot better than uh, Ard, so...
Oh. Okay, and that's why it's called the Shrieker. Okay. And there it goes. So, Igni when it's on the ground, mainly to tear down its armor and set it on fire, which apparently did the most damage. And then for the rest, keep your crunch shield up and crossbow it when it's in the sky and charging towards you to get a free a few free hits so a cockatrice stomach some eggs the mutagen a dwarven axe and some other stuff and the trophy of course and then we got to see that lovely decapitating animation stab Okay, and now let's go back to the uh, the man that gave us the contract and get our money. Need a swift kick in the ass. So back at Crow's Perch, and we're gonna talk to chat again and retrieve our reward. Greetings. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, the Shrieker is dead. The Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank you, Master Witcher. Your reward ain't much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. And we will. Thank you. Thank you. Any problems in the future, you keep me in mind. So there we go. And when you complete that quest for the first time, you will also receive a trophy for the Shrieker. And that's our third contract, I think? Was the... The Noon Wraith and the Griffin itself. And now the Shrieker. So, on that note, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. So thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!